Guys, check that out. That is so sick. While you're working in the NG Bay, you have speakers right above your ears. This is probably one of the coolest thing under 50 bucks I've ever seen. Here, dude, you guys hear the sound? So clear. You never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Let's not forget about our speakers. This video is brought to you guys by Impola. And I think they just sent us out one of the most unique speakers I've ever seen in my entire life. We'll get more into this guy once we actually get to the shop. Meantime, while the car is warming up, let me show you guys the suspension that we got for the 435. So yeah, you guys know I've been hyping up the suspension for the longest time. The reason I haven't actually introduced it to the channel, even installed it on the car just yet, is because my boy John is gonna be helping me install this thing. He's installed bags for multiple cars before and even knows how to do the custom setup in the trunk. So you guys are probably like, oh, what, what do you mean now, custom setup in the trunk? Your boy wants air lift suspension. Suspension, air lift bag suspension, guys. Five gallon tank. We went all out on this car. These are also airlift performance. If you guys don't know anything about airlift, it is a bag system, but they perform super well. And that's something I was really looking into because it's a 435. I want to push some major power on this thing. I want to do donuts. So this will allow me to do it and still slam my car down for some sick shots. I'm actually so stoked for this. Anyways, go ahead and load it all up. We got two boxes here. We got the five gallon tank, the compressor, everything right here. Let's go ahead and load up all these bad boys. I'm so hyped for this. Now that we had all the suspension stuff loaded up, the bags are back here. Here's a tank and all the modules. So let's head down to the shop real quick. So as soon as we get down to the shop, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the management that we went with. I'm gonna show you guys the whole system we went with and then the price I actually got it for. And then we're also gonna talk with uh, John and see what our future plans, how we're gonna mount the system and what our ideas are for the car and pretty much how low we want it to be. <laughs> Pulling up boys, we are here at the shop and you see my boy John over here. Let's go ahead and see what he's doing in there. Probably chilling like a villain. Oh, shaking bacon. <laughs> Damn bro, it's always, what's it called? Camaros. Camaros, yeah. You have a whole bunch of Camaro fans. Yeah, what's that? Oh, for real? Ah, all right, guys. So we finally made it to the shop. Here's the suspension. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I've never actually seen air suspension, like you know, just sitting on the table. Psych. Because <laughs> <laughs> my boy John always does it. Anyways, we're gonna take it all out, check it out. But yeah, let's go ahead and just pull everything out. I want to show you guys the tank, the compressor, and how even all the shocks look like. And then we'll tell you guys the plans and what we plan on doing in the trunk and everything. All right, so I don't know if you guys know John over here, what he does exactly, but. Yeah, if you guys don't know his company, it's Fitted Racing, and uh, he does these custom diffusers. It's pretty much like aero stuff, right? Yeah. Aero stuff, so it looks super sick. He's actually gonna be painting the diffuser to match the diffuser. <laughs> Plastic, plastic to match. thing to match the diffuser. So yeah, it looks super good. We're gonna be trying to do something like this with my car. We're gonna try to go something pretty aggressive. He's actually doing a front lip as well, which is gonna be really cool. And then what he does also is you gonna paint this red as well? Yeah, I'm gonna paint this red. The whole thing red, which is gonna be super sick. Support rod. Oh, cause this thing's actually legit. It yeah, works. They're, they're functional. Fiber. Carbon fiber support rods. So. Dang. All right, cool, cool. So that's sick. He does all that kind of stuff. He even does a side skirt extension, which is actually one of the main things I want to get done. So uh, is he doing? Is this guy doing it? Yeah. Oh, it's here. I'm just painting him red. Painting it red. And this is just tape, guys. So it's not like. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be super sick once those go on. We'll show you guys how this looks in a little bit. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and take out the suspension and uh, show you guys what our plans are for this trunk. I'll throw a couple pictures for you guys and let us know what you guys want to see happen because I'm gonna leave this in John's hands. And uh, when we get back from this trip from Canada. Canada, we're gonna be seeing, hopefully. It's gonna be on the ground. <laughs> or it's gonna be on Jackson. <laughs> Either my wheels are gonna be gone and slammed on the ground, oh. or we'll see. Let's go ahead and take it out. What do you think? Are we gonna make like a board that's gonna be sitting in the inside here? What, what, do, we, what do you have like? We're gonna do a whole entire trunk setup. A whole, okay, cool, cool. Wood from like flooring. Okay. So from Home Depot. Home Depot. Lowe's. All right. And you can like and set it up on here, and um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be like a perfect cutout, right? Mm -hmm. So it should look super good. Yeah. And then uh, the management, everything, like all the wires and stuff. Where's that gonna go exactly? The wiring's gonna be hidden down here. Where yeah. all my junk is. We'll Where clean up. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll clean all this stuff out. Don't worry about that, guys. But no exposed. Oh my god! <laughs> Hide the weed. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, all that stuff's gonna be down there. So I feel like the management should be down here. Just okay. Tucked away. Hidden. The management is pretty much wires and what? The wiring and the um, this like big block that sends that tells um like it, it sends air to the bags and, and the tank and everything yeah, okay everything. cool cool so that's the management so that's gonna go down there yeah. and then uh all the nice looking stuff's gonna be sent up here right yeah. for the most part yeah. Yeah, no, all right, well, let's just see what that nice stuff is even I mean I have all these boxes but I haven't I've honestly had these boxes for about three weeks don't get mad at me I know but it is time finally so let's go ahead and unbox it oh uh, okay shoot let me set you guys up <laughs> Dude, where are we gonna put that? It's about, right? <laughs> <laughs> where are we gonna put this thing? You're gonna put it in your trunk. What are you no, doing? we're not, dude. That's not gonna fit. Hold up. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. thing is mad. Dude, it looks like port injections with all those things. We can Dang. There, we can, I can put it up here. What do you think will look cleaner? <laughs> I don't know either. We'll go ahead and figure it out. We'll let you guys know in a second. Go ahead and figure out and play around with the suspension real quick. Since you guys have time, so let's go ahead and enjoy these speakers by Empoya real quick. Why we at while we actually just go ahead and start, you know, figuring out the management and all that good stuff. Guys, look what I just noticed. Like John just saw these like ah, looks like some something came off the highway and hit my car, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, ah, Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're gonna hopefully, um, honestly, replace the hood now. <laughs> so <laughs> just upgrade the hood and rewrap it. Anyways, I want to rewrap this. Anyways, I have plans to upgrade the hood, so we will do that down the road. Anyways, just figure out what's going on in these boxes and enjoy these speakers. I want to set these up. I want to see how they work. It comes with a whole bunch of different mounting things, which are super nice, from straps to like car inside mounts, backpack mounts. Seeing literally straps on anything, and then the charger looks super dope. It even sets up like kind of like a on-table speaker. Guys, look at this speaker setup. <laughs> Damn! There's no high sensors involved. That was all this. Here you go, brother. <laughs> Enjoy. These are the fittings for the tank. For real? Yeah, so you, can, you have like little block offs and stuff like that. And some more screws. This is for the tank so you can mount the tank. Oh, 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 oh this looks so good. <laughs> this looks so, dude, this thing is dirty. Feels like you're getting a PlayStation. <laughs> Expensive PlayStation. What is that? Instructions? <laughs> we don't need yeah, these. Not even... <laughs> Damn. Yeah, legit. Damn. Um... We don't need these. <laughs> what was the remote, right? Yeah. My god, guys. This has like been a long time dream. This looks so sick. All right, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. What do we need to actually test out the, the wires? Is it in this box? Damn. Air lift, guys. Check that out. Ooh, buddy. What is that? Oh, management. This is a management? This is a... This looks nice. So this tells, this tells the compressor to turn on. This tells, um, this sends air to all the bags, like rear That's corner, right. right, everywhere, the front, everything. Dang. Yeah. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is some complicated <laughs> stuff. I got you. <laughs> well, that's one of the... Uh, that's a compressor. Compressors. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, we have one of these. We don't have two, I don't think. So, I think we're just gonna be rocking one for now, but we do plan on upgrading to two down the road. I think we're gonna mount it right here. What do you guys think? Should we actually mount it right here? Because you guys will have time to, uh, you know, give, give me you guys' opinion. Should it be right here? I don't want to put it in the middle because then, you know, the knee... So think about kind of making it flush with that and the cup holder still works. Or you say like another option is like right here or like here, but then it'll get in the yeah, way. Yeah, it kind of get in the way of that. That's like an honest like flex to the passenger's face. I don't know yeah. if I can do that. Uh, or maybe even like on the driver's side, right? Somewhere. Um, I don't know. I honestly think it'd be cool right here. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, you want, you want to show them? with a paper cut. Ah, oh, that's the worst, dude. Buddy, <laughs> this is airlift on the bag. You guys see that? Oh yeah, that looks crazy. So these are steel braided lines. That way it won't get caught up in any, like your tires or anything. Oh wait, so the good ones? Yeah. So that's the one you were talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So I think all the newer ones have that stuff, yeah. right? Anyway, so I'm pretty sure this is the exact same as this one. I think this is like front and rear, front and rear, something like that. Yeah, I mean, rear's gonna look oh, those are rear, these are front? Yeah. Dang, these are the front, these are massive. Dang. <laughs> 
this looks this looks weird. But yeah. Is that, what is so does that sit on the shock or that's up? No, part this of the shock? this this sits on your rear trailing arm. Yeah, I, I see pictures so, like that. Okay, cool. So it's on the trailing arm and the shock is over here or vice versa. There's not that much to it. It's 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 really simple. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, let me get you guys real quick. So let me know guys, uh, Jonathan will be pretty much gonna be tackling this. He's gonna be taking over the channel for the next day or two with Jonathan. Uh, John, Jonathan, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, um, so yeah, he's gonna go ahead and figure that out. Which we're, we're gonna show you guys the system real quick too. Let me know guys down below. Do you guys want to show you an in-depth installation video on how to install everything? Or like, like I, don't, I, would, I don't think they're actually gonna be like step by step, but at least show you like, where they plug everything and what plugs into what, stuff like that. Um, and I'll just make it like a quick little cinematic. You guys wanna see something like that? Or do you guys wanna just be in like the backgrounds and uh, see the whole thing just get, you know, done? Um, so you guys let me know. If you guys wanna be more in depth, it'd be split up between two videos since I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna take you about like a couple days, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, it's gonna be a lot of work, but we'll still do it for you guys. So let us know down below. As for the tank, this is the idea we're having. Um, so if you guys look at this, I kind of want, uh, dude, this thing is so light. Yeah. Is it aluminum? Yeah. Dang, um, I don't want any of these ports showing. Um, so in order for that, we're actually gonna be putting the compressor behind the tank. But what also is nice about this, it kind of serves as like a, a wall, a barrier to where I can actually put some things in the trunk and still use the trunk and uh, all the airlift stuff is protected. Much the whole idea, I think it's gonna be super sick. I'm super stoked. We're actually gonna be doing also the wood and uh, he's actually gonna make it to where when we try to pull this thing up, um, it's gonna still be usable, which is super nice. I actually realized when buying this car, the clip that holds this thing up is broken. So, that's nice. Anywho. <laughs> they didn't tell you about that? They didn't tell me. I mean, it had a dent on the quarter panel on the bumper and the rear bumper. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff there. So that's super exciting stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. Let's pretty much just suggest the overview. I just want to show you guys what we have planned. Let me know. We also want the remote mounted. You want it on the dash, the side, center console, passenger, driver's side. What do you guys think looks the cleanest? I'm trying to make this thing look as clean as possible. So I, will, I want you guys' opinions. So if you guys are also wondering, so if you guys don't have a 435, but you have different BMWs or like different cars in general, John does a lot of all kinds of different modifications, you know, from the aero, the body kits, from bags, to pretty much even like, the roofs and everything. So if you guys wanna see all that stuff, check out his Instagram down below. It's gonna be the first link. And he's gonna, guys, he's gonna keep you guys posted on there before it even gets to the channel. So if you guys wanna see a quick little overview before it even gets dropped on the channel, make sure to check out his Instagram. Again, first link down below. And without further ado, guys, I'm actually gonna be checking out, heading over to Canada. Wish me luck. It's gonna be a fun little trip. It's the first time going out of the country, which is gonna be pretty insane. So I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.